One thing I know about God, God can do it. Look at somebody and say, he can do it. Ah, come on, give, give it up for the Lord of God. Give it up for my wife. Boom. God put this message on my heart to speak to the congregation about money, about blessing his people. Come on, y'all need to talk back to me. If you don't talk, I'm sitting down. Because he gave me a word to give you too. Because it's time out for the folks in the church. Time out for you being broke. Living from paycheck to paycheck. Serving God and not seeing the benefits. Y'all need to talk to me. Don't stand up there lying to me. Because some of you sitting there every Sunday and say, I don't see nothing. Where's the blessing? They preach it all Y'all don't get up for this one today. 
free from it. Which thy fathers knew not. Which thy fathers knew not. That he might humble thee. Uh huh. That he may humble you. And that he might prove thee. Yes. To do thee good at the latter end. So God wants to prove us. Huh? And guess what? Some of you have already been tested, tried, and proven by God and found to be faithful. You only talking to me right now. You know who you are. Some of you sitting right here, you have been through just about every test that you can think of, and you're still going for a little something, but you haven't seen the blessing yet. God said, I have tested you. I have tried you. I have proven you. I've already seen what's in your heart. Guess what? And I've already shown the devil what's in your heart, that you will serve me with And they turn their backs on God. And they 
they say within their heart, I did it myself. No, you forgot God did it for you. And that's why some of you get blessed with money. And then when you look, it's gone because you started serving other gods. You started partying, going back to getting high, forgetting God, skipping church. I'm going to call it out. And so God said, I'm going to blow on the blessing and take it back. I'm testifying against you. See, y'all didn't like that part, but I'm going to give you the truth. Don't mess with God. Because when he blesses you, he wants you to remember. Right there. 18. But thou shalt remember. And then he said, if you forget, this is what I'm going to do for you. I testify against you this day that ye shall surely what? Uh-huh. Y'all quiet, see? Don't think God going to bless you and let you, excuse my language, y'all, Piss back in his face. Uh uh. And think it's gonna be okay. You do that, you better get ready. Get ready. Cause here comes the whirlwind. And God is gonna strip you down and take it back and sit you up on the of that tree and ask you to go think about some things. You thought you did this yourself, huh? Let me see you do it for yourself again. Now he's gonna make mockery of you. Y'all don't like this kind of preaching, but y'all gonna get this today. I'm gonna beat y'all up today. When it comes to God. See, you know why I said that? Because I'm sick and tired of folks using God as a genie in the bottle. When stuff go wrong, we see you back in the church. When stuff go good, you gone. Then you go on the phone. So don't expect us to pray you out of stuff when you ignored God. And he blessed you. Saved your life. Brought you out of turmoil. Got your rent paid when they were supposed to kick your butt out. And you spent your rent money buying this and buying that. They was coming back to get your car. We prayed for your car. They, you kept your car. So you playing Russian, you roulette, and you using God as a genie in the ball, and he is tired of it. I'm just going to tell you all the truth. Don't play with God. You go play with somebody else. But when it comes to God, you better serve him with all of your heart and with all of your might, and you better give him the best. Because when God blesses you, he gives you his best. Watch this. Let me move on. I'm finished with that one. I gotta go quick. She up all the time. But that's fine. Okay, there's a couple of things I wanna go through. We're still talking about releasing the blessing. And somebody gave me some other topic. But it's all about God blessing his people, his saints. Who is ready for God to bless them? Who's ready for, um, I'm not talking to folks who ain't serious about this thing. Who, who needs God to move for them, to move in your finances, to move on your children, to move on your bank account, to move on your health, to move on your spirit, to move on everything. Well, you're ready. I'm going to call your attention to the book of Job. Go there, and I'll keep it quick. The book of Job, chapter 28. And we know that Job went through so much. Come on, y'all, flip quick for me now. Y'all moving too slow. I told you I have to get down quick. Come on, flip, flip, flip. Job 28. And we're going to start reading at verse 6, I think. We are maybe 5. As for the hold, hold, hold on, let me let me get this set up. Y'all there? Yeah. Okay, good. Go ahead and read a little bit for me, brother. As for the earth, out of it cometh bread, mm -hmm. and under it is turned up as it were fire. Yes. The stones of it are the place of sapphire. Yes. And it hath dust of gold. Are y'all with us? 
Okay, Job 28, and begin reading to read 7. Give them a minute to get there. Are you there? Yes. Is everybody there? Yes. Are y'all ready for this part right here? Yes. Can I help y'all out tonight? Yes. Come on, read, read. There, there is a path. Aha. Uh -huh. Which no foul. Stop. Lord. Read that again. There is, come on. There is a path. Stop right there. Underline the word path. Y'all there? Yeah. And I want to I, I, I uh, reference a little bit out of my book. So those of you who didn't get this book, you need to get this book, okay? You need to get this book. In chapter 2, I talk about paths. I'm going to read a little bit, but I'm going back to the Bible. Paths are very, very important. Look at your name and say, path. path. In the book, chapter 2, paradigm shift, it says, from here on out, I want you to view, I'm skipping a lot of stuff, view or define path as a type of portal, watch this, that gives you access to everything, I'm reading from the book, that God has set aside and predestined just for you in this life. That was too big for y'all. Tell the truth, because I'll go back over it. So your path is, consider your path.
Yes, the stretching and the narrow road, two different paths. Okay. Therefore, when you travel the right path with least resistance, you are guaranteed not only to walk into God's will for your life, reading from a book, but also in success, happiness, and much fulfillment. Let me go back to the Bible. Of course, we have to say, we back here, talking about Job. The word path, right? Read for me. Which no foul knoweth. There's a path. Now, we're still talking about God releasing the blessing on us. Don't get it twisted. I'm not off track. Watch this. Read. There's a path. In which the vultures are. No, no, no. Start from 17. There, there's a path. There's a path which no foul knoweth. There's a path which no foul knoweth. Underline no foul knoweth. I'm going to help y'all out. Keep reading. And which the vultures I have not seen. And which the vultures eyes have not seen. Underline fowler and vulture. Y'all with me? I'm going to take y'all through this book because I need y'all to get this. Keep reading. The lion's whelp have not trotted. The, watch this. The lion's whelp. Watch me, y'all. Watch me. Has not trodden. That means walk down this path here. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Nor the fierce line pass by it. Nor the fierce line pass by it. Mm -hmm. All those creatures that were listed yeah. were demonic creatures. Mm -hmm. yes, and God is letting Job know there's a path for it. I got for you to travel on to bring you to that double portion that I gave Job at the end of 42, chapter 42. Notice in the book of Job, the first chapter, he just had three, this three, that two, that, and at the end it was six, this six, it was double. But it didn't get double until he got on the right path. And so God is saying that these followers don't know about this path. And the vultures have not seen this path. And the lions have not even trodden on it yet. And the fierce lion had not even passed by it yet. Watch this, keep reading. He put it forth. His hand upon the rock. He overturned the mountains by the roots. Stop right there. So God is saying that. This path I have for you to walk on, that is going to release your blessing. That is going to unlock this miracle that you've been praying for, fasting for, hoping for, believing for. Guess what? You got to get on it. The devil don't know about this path. This is a secret path that only I know about. You can't bring your friends on this path. It's just for you. That's why I said. The fierce lion has not even trodden on it. This is a path only you can get on. Because you gotta believe demons, devils, all these demonic forces, they want everything God said he's gonna bless you with and they wanna block it up. They wanna stop it from coming to pass and as long as you don't get on the path that God has predestined for you, guess what? You will not see your full potential. You wouldn't see the miracle. You may get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of here, a little half or something here, but you will not get the full. Come on. Yes. I know this too heavy for y'all, but I'm going to get this to y'all right now. Because guess what? Some of y'all notice he told Job, he told Job, look here, there's a path that y'all, you have to travel on that the devil don't know about. Sometimes you gotta keep your mouth closed. When God say, I'm getting ready to do this for you, do that for you, I want you to walk this way. Don't tell your best friend, don't tell your cousin, don't tell them. You just do what God 
says to do and let them see the end reason. That's the word for somebody. So he told Job, you got to get on this path. Watch this. Nine. He put his off his hand and the rock. He overturned the mountains by the roof. Yes, yes. He cut it out rivers among the rocks. Yes, watch this. And his eye seeth every precious thing. See, there's the blessed man released right there. Amen. When he got on the path and did everything God said to do, he saw the mountains and the rock overturned. And we had all that stuff. Mountains and rock overturning means everything that had you bound and everything that was blocked up and everything that was in your way now being overturned. And once it overturns, now your eyes see it. Every precious thing. Now you can see the blessing. See, some of you, you can't see the release right now. You can't see what God is getting ready to do because it's stuck in the heavens, but God said, I'm going to release it. I'm going to overturn mountains. I'm going to overturn rocks so your eyes can see everything that I have for you. Are y'all getting this? Read for me. He cut it from verse, verse um, 12. No, no, no uh, 11. He bring it. He bind it. The flood from overflowing. Uh-huh. And the thing that is hid, uh, bring it he forth to light. Look at this. See that? He bind it. Look at me, y'all. He bind it what? The flood. The floods from overflowing. He stopped that thing from overtaking you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He stopped that devil Amen. from chewing you up Amen. and spitting you out Amen. and counting you as lost. Amen. Read the latter part. And it says, and the thing that is hid. The stop right there. And the thing, the blessing that's been hiding from you. Amen. What? Amen. Bring it he forth to light. Now God lets you see it. you're hoping and believing for and that you've been praying for. 
for it. It's there. But could it very well be that you don't see it yet because you're on the wrong path? He told Job, there's a path that I got for you to travel on. And guess what, Job? The fowl don't know about this, haven't seen it. The lion's well, and he listed all those things. Demons don't want you to get the blessing. When Daniel prayed, y'all know this, I go to this one all the time. Pray. The blessings were held up in the air for 21 days. The agent came and told him, it's held up. It's been released the first day you pray, but it's held up because I met some opposition. Do you think the devil is going to sit back and let God bless you financially? Me and my wife can tell you about that. It comes with a fight. It comes with a F-I-G-H-T. And sometimes I get tired. She tells me, she said, you church, you don't pray. I said, I ain't praying, I'm tired. Do my table. Yes. And I'll run out of the way. Tired. Leave me alone. And let me tell you, I'm going to be honest with y'all, because I get tired. I get frustrated. Because I know it's supposed to be here already. And so you get mad. And you say, I don't want to pray no more. I don't pray enough. I'm tired. But then she'll come back and bother me. And I'll, I'll pray. You pray. But I, I'll do one of those bad prayers. You know But then God would remind me what he said to me. He's going to do. You understand me? And guess what? He remind me. You remember that vision I showed you concerning, and I'll have to soften and say, yeah. <laughs> then my wife will come back and say, you church, remember that dream I had? And it will match the same dream God showed me. And so I'll soften up some more. Yeah, yeah, but I, I still be there a little bit. Then you give me a couple of hours and I'm okay. I'll keep it in real. God knows we get mad. He knows we get frustrated. He knows we get tired. That's why the Bible says the race is not given to the spirit or to the strong, but to the one that endures to the end. I'm going to tell you the truth, even right now, I'm still kind of mad. <laughs> and I'm telling God, forget it. Whoever told God this one, you ain't got to do it no more. I'm going to bust this. Bust this one. I don't want it no more. I'm gone. Let me leave y'all alone. <laughs> And so that's the truth, I'm telling y'all. But we got to get on the right path. Y'all stand, I'm finished. Get on the right path. And we got to take God at his word. And sometimes you got to remember Abraham and Sarah when the angel came and told them God was going to bless them with a child. And they were up in age, past child their age. And then Sarah watched and she laughed. And oh, y'all know the story. And time went by, time went by, no baby. So Tara told, Sarah told hey, God, come on, go, go here, do this for me. And she did it, and then watched it. And then she got pray. The blessing came. They tried to help God out. Don't try to help God out. Who was guilty of that? I'm going to raise hand. Don't try to help God out. But, and, and you know why sometimes we help God out? Because we know the Bible said we're going to put scripture on it. Faith without works is dead. <laughs> Paul said, 
Show me your work. I'll show you your faith. Amen. Amen. We're going to get some business up here right now. 